and the pages are all dry now. Yippee! It is actually the next day. I um, ran out of steam and the day finished and there wasn't enough light and so I had to give it away. But then last night, you know how you just go in your studio and have a little look? <laughs> well, I ended up putting this beautiful piece here. Absolutely love that. That's coming from um, this piece here that I have. I did mark making on a gel print and I did all of these circles. And so now I just pull off like one or two or three at a time. Oh my gosh, absolutely amazing, beautiful little elements. Loving my handwritten note there from Gina. And you can actually see a little bit of her name there. I think that's so gorgeous. I feel so loved when I look at this in my shimmering gold isings. Yay! Feather from Spotlight Craft Shop. I love it. I think it's beautiful. This is the isings in licorice on one of robin's printables fabulous that's another one with the eye zincs in i think that might be the tea color and then that's a jelly print loving my crosses that's a tim holt stencil that is an art book page it was an old book that i ripped the pages out and sprayed with the eye zincs i'm really loving this mottled effect that's because the pages of the art book are glossy and so it doesn't absorb. The ink doesn't absorb like on this, um, which is normal copy paper. And so it makes this kind of patterned effect, which looks fabulous. It does um, kind of reactivate when you put the matte medium over it, but nothing you can't handle. Love this print on the Hello Paper Packaging. Look at the shine on that with the copper. Now, I ended up putting something in the middle because I couldn't help myself last night when I wandered in. And this is a piece I just hole punched out of craft paper, cheap as craft paper. And then this is the my beautiful love beehive paper. So what I did was I sprayed it with the eye zincs and then I tore the middle piece out so it was just the outside edge. Hello, doesn't it look amazing? Actually, I might show you that because it was just so fun. Yes, I did it last night. <laughs> I did it and I did it video it because it was really late and dark and uh, the lights would look terrible, but I can show you now. Do you want to see? It's amazing. Okay, let's look at that. Okay, so my fabulous beehive paper. I've just put down some um, craft paper to catch all the spray. And let me tell you, it works fabulous in collage. Just saying. This one is the Isinks Coffee. And basically, hello, all you do is give it a bit of a spray. Amazing. Amazing. I just love it so much. These are my new BFS, I'm telling you. They're fabulous. So then it looks incredible. Look at that. And then you get all this overspray on the paper which once it all kind of gets a good coverage, looks amazing and you use it in your collage. I'm telling you, everything's recyclable. So that's what I did. Look how cool that looks. It ends up amazing. And then what I did was with the black one, I just then put some water and took out the middle piece. So it was just the outside edge. That looks really cool. Really, really cool. The other thing that I did while I was supposed to be sleeping was I sprayed the beautiful um, handmade roses, which is what this piece is, that I've already did on one of my pages. So that's how it comes. Isn't it just glorious? I bought this from an Australian um, store. I'll put the link under the video. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's called Handmade Roses. It's from Thailand Paper. I absolutely love it so much. So, of course, I had to spray that. I cut the individual roses off and sprayed them. That's the licorice. That's the same coffee color. Oh my gosh, glorious. I know. Why would you want to sleep when you can do this? <laughs> um, gold, the shimmering gold, that came up beautiful. So I have all of these glorious roses. You know I'm going to use some, don't you? Look at the red. This is a dilution spray in red and it is amazing i'm gonna have to use this today because i'm just entirely in love with that color oh 
Um, so it was so easy. So I've, I've basically torn the beautiful rose shape off. And then you go like, hello, one, two, three. The thing's done. Oh, my gosh. Can it get any easier? It's almost illegal at how easy it is. I did this in my pajamas last night. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, absolutely beautiful. And then when it dries, it looks like this. And the thing is, I could um, tear out the middle piece if I just want the outside circle bits, or I could use the whole thing. I mean, options. Options are so endless. You could use half of it, some of it. You could just use some of the beautiful circular texture. I mean, it's just glorious. Right, so that's how I did that piece last night in my pyjamas. Um, what else have we done? Okay, so these beautiful pages, I added some more to here because when this dried, it had dissolved so much and it became so transparent that there was nothing left in the center. <laughs> so I'm like, man, it's a bit boring. So I decided to, I put on some Iram Liquitex acrylic white and I just basically went like that with the acrylic white ink. And then when that dried, I found one of these beautiful little crosses in my scrap bag, of course, which came off that same piece. So that matches really well. Now I'm absolutely loving this page. I think now it looks perfect. I love it. It's finished and it's just beautiful. I adore it. This one's fabulous. I think they sit really well together. See how I actually always think about the double spread um, I don't see them singularly. I see it as a whole, but that's just me. So I think these pages sit beautifully together. I love them. This is a great start for week two with our text theme. It's fantastic. So that's day one, day two, day three, and day four. Yay! We're doing so well. I love it. I absolutely love it. I'm loving these colors and textures. And there's so much that we can be inspired by with the text theme. Now, what are we going to do today? We're up to day five. We're going to do day five and day six, absolutely for sure. So where do we want to start? That's the question. What shall we start with? I think I'd really like to use um, this printable from my uh, National Geographic page. I'm loving this, absolutely loving this. I'm definitely going to use it. You can actually have this printable for free. I have a link. I'll put it under the video in the description. So just look for it. It'll be there. You do have to go to my blog to find it because that's where I wrote a whole story about how to make the Nat Geo pages. So if you want it, it's there. Just look. Righto. So I'm going to use that. And I'm still pretty in love with this licorice color. Look how beautiful that is. This is an off cut from that piece there. I don't know, man. I'm thinking it's just really nice. So I might put that and I might put some of that. And then what are we going to do? I mean, that takes up the whole page, man. These small pages, they, <laughs> they get filled up really quickly. Uh, I don't know, man. I'm going to go hunt around because I need some more drama. I'm thinking that I'd like to rip some of this off this craft piece of paper. This is one of my, you know, pieces of craft paper that I've oversprayed on and then I wrote on it a nice paragraph about art. And there you go. Suddenly, it's not an overspray or a roll-off piece, it's a beautiful piece of collage paper. Oh, so I think I'd like to use that somewhere. It doesn't have to be straight, because you don't have to read what it says. It's not about reading the text. So we might just rip that piece off. See, look at that, look at that. Look at beautiful, beautiful piece of collage paper from a roll-off spray craft piece. Now it's suddenly an amazing piece of collage. Righto, beautiful, love it. I'm using that, definitely. I might also 
use some of this paper. This paper's from a different episode where I was spraying the eye zincs like a crazy person. <laughs> I know, you find that hard to believe that I was spraying them like a crazy person, but mm, I was. Okay, so I'm doing something with that and that and that. Mm, don't want to cover them up too much. Maybe over there. I don't know. Don't know exactly, but we're starting with this kind of feel. This is where we're headed. Maybe some of these. I like these too. They're pretty cool. Yeah, look at that. See, that's another um, sheet of jelly print with just mark making. I'm liking that bit there. So somehow I'm now going to pull this into an amazing composition. Yes, I am. So I like, I like that too. All right, let's see what we'll put together with that. Oh, maybe I'll use one of those roses. Yes. Okay. Okay. We're going to have to use one of those roses. We just have to decide which one. Okay. So that's the licorice. Beautiful. That'll work. Totally that'll work. The red, red's pretty snazz, but we might keep the red for something more dramatic. Um, the co um, coffee, that'll work, but it doesn't really have a, you know, impact. The gold's pretty nice. Yes, this gold one would work too. So the gold or the licorice is going to happen. The licorice is pretty nice against that coffee background. Yeah, I'm liking that. And just this little piece of, Writing, I like that. I might even put some more script, some more text down the side here from one of these pieces. Even maybe some of that. Yeah, that's cool too. All right, we'll do something like that. That sounds fun. This piece of tissue here started out as an overspray. I was spraying um, a stencil and I turned it over and put it onto a white piece of tissue to use up the inks. And then I used my favorite circle making templates to spray around because I was just trying an idea. And look at it now, it's flipping beautiful. So, you know, you've got to try different ideas, have a go at different things. If it doesn't work, it doesn't matter because it mostly makes amazing collage papers and you don't know when you're going to want to just have that special little bit to put in a crazy project of 100 collages. Look at that. I am so happy with that. That looks absolutely fabulous. And I know that that piece started as an overspray. Like I just showed you before when I oversprayed on the craft paper, that's how this piece of tissue started. So I think that's fabulous. I think that's what I love so much about mixed media art is that it's developmental. So you can just keep creating and developing your ideas and trying different things. And one idea leads to the next idea and that's how you get better with your art. You just keep developing your ideas. Mileage under the brush, baby. That's how we do it. You just gotta make the art to create great art. That's not too bad, although I think I'm loving these circles more. Yes, I am loving the circles more. Let's put the circles on. And then we'll think about the other bit. I don't mind the circles. Do I want them there? Maybe I want them on this side. Yeah, I think they look better on that side. What do you think? Yeah, I don't know that the Nat Geo pattern can actually take too much on top of it because it's quite a busy pattern in itself and it is rather glorious. So we probably should just let it be. That's pretty cool. I don't mind that idea. That is stunning. Do I want full to the, maybe I just want a whole row of the circles. 
Maybe I'll rip out some more. What do you think? I like the way it's kind of, you know, mimicking the circles that are already there. I'm loving the colors are beautiful. Oh, well, this is pretty nice. This is a piece of white tissue that I threw some inks on. I was doing an overspray and something. And then I used the white tissue to mop up the overspray because I did it on, on something plastic. And then I added some more sprays and left it to dry. And look at it, it's beautiful. Love it. So that might be a contender because those colors are just glorious. And I like the real jaggedness of it. Wow, those colors, just fabulous. So yes, this was last night when I was supposed to be sleeping. <laughs> you know, so I was doing the overspray and I was overspraying on one of those, you know, disposable palettes. And then... I'm like, I didn't want to waste the ink, so I mopped it up with this white tissue. And then I'm like, oh, man, that looks cool. So then I laid it out on my table and then gave it a bit more spray, and a spray of water. If you spray it with water, it will move the inks around. Yes, I do have a whole episode on that. Um, and it looks amazing. And then I put the shimmering gold ink on the top see how you can see maybe you can see it's got a little bit of the shimmering gold ink yeah it's pretty darn nice so that might happen that's definitely going there i'm liking that that's working um i don't think this one's working for the nat geo i think it's too busy but it'll work for something else so into the scrap bag this goes and you know how that goes it comes out another day. This is a contender, this piece, because the colors are glorious. They resonate with this side and they also work with what's on the Nat Geo page. That works. And the texture is just fabulous. Now, the question is, do I want to cut it there so that that comes straight down or do I want it to go across like that? That's the question. So, what's the answer? <laughs> Can't you just help me out here? Jeez. Um, yeah, I'm thinking we... I'm thinking we let the licorice have its way. Because I really like that piece. I don't know. Okay, I hope you voted for this. Because this is what we're doing. That's pretty nice. So, yeah, I like that. You see, you don't know until you actually commit. And then if you don't like it, it's too late. <laughs> I'm liking that. What do you think? What do you think? Are we liking that? It needs something. Oh, you know, I could pull out one of these circles. You know I can. All right, if you insist, I'll go and get one of these circles to put right there and that should finish it all magnificently. Okay, well, what about if I just use the off cut from this piece that I tore off? Because it's still got two really nice clear circles on it. I could put that one there. That could work. Yes, that could work. Right, let's cut, rip that out and see if that works. Because if it doesn't, I can go and get my bag of 200 other circle bits. Because we know one of those will work. Let's try this bit because it's off the same piece, so the colours are going to work well. Righto, so, oh yes, that could work. What do you think? The same circle bit? Yes, I'm thinking so. I'm thinking so. I think that looks pretty darn nice. Pretty darn. Righto, how about I stick all that on and then we decide if we're happy enough to leave it alone. All right. Sounds like a plan. That looks fabulous. Using the tissue, I love the way it goes transparent and you can see some of that Nat Geo page um, through the tissue shape and the circle. It looks just beautiful. I love it. Love the little pop of red against the licorice color. That looks fabulous. Righto. I think I want to take that middle bit out so it's got a bit more of the underneath coming through. That'd be really cool. 
Not look at that. <laughs> the eye zincs tend to reactivate <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> Oopsies. That's okay. Oh, which side do I like better? I think I like that side. It's more textured. That way, maybe. Look how cool that looks. If we put it on top of that, it looks cool too. Oh, anywhere there looks pretty awesome. I've got to trim that off like that. Oh, I'm loving that. Look at that. Look at those colors. They're so rich. Glorious. So the question is, do we need the circles down the side? I don't know, because if I put it there, it's kind of separating the two pages. I mean, they're supposed to be different days, but does it really matter? No, <laughs> not to me, it doesn't. But I do like that, just like that. Yeah, I do like that. Yes or no, yes or no. Come on, tell me. Yes or no, yes. Yes, we like it. Or no. Mm. Yes. Yes. Yes, of course. Looks fabulous. How could you not? Don't tell me stories. It looks fabulous. I'm doing it. Look at that. I am so happy with how that looks. I love all of the gorgeous raw edges. Um, I love this raw edge here. Ah, oh, just do. I love the way that it's got this circle on this side. It kind of connects the composition. That looks fabulous. Loving that little, you know, experiment last night in my pajamas. I <laughs> think it just looks fabulous. That's beautiful. That's gorgeous. So are we done? Are we done? Do we think we should leave it alone? I think I'll let it dry. And then we'll make the decision if we're done before we do the next page. Because we have to do the next page, right? Because we're up to what number are we up to? One, two, three, four, five, six. So we've got to do one. You know I can't just do one side. We have to do two sides. I'll let this dry. Then we'll decide if we're done. But what I'm loving is as this is drying, I can see more of the Nat Geo page coming through. Like it's getting more transparent as it's drying. And that is just beautiful. I am absolutely loving these colors and these textures. I'm loving this new, let's just spray everything with eye zinc <laughs> season that I'm in today. You know, it's today's thing, right? And it will probably be changed in two days time, but today it's working for me. So we're going with it. Right, right, we'll let that dry and then we'll do the last two. Yippee. Okay, so I blasted my pages with the heat gun and trimmed off the excess, which always makes me happy because uh, I like things neat and tidy. Makes me happy. Um, I'm loving this paper. Oh my gosh, loving it so much. Look how glorious those fibers are. Oh. Um, and then I decided that mm, I think the middle bit's a bit dull. There's nothing happening there. There's no action. So of course, I'm going to have to put some action there. So I pulled out the Tim Holtz stencil, and I know it's Tim Holtz because he's got his name on it. So, <laughs> so at least we know whose stencil that is. Um, I've used this before on one of the jelly prints that I used earlier in the, a different page. And I'm choosing this one here to put in the middle, and I'm just masking it around the edge because they're so close together that I'm going to get smudgy. And I don't want to be smudgy. I want it to be really precise. So in putting the tape around the side, it just stops me from making a big mess, basically. I want it right in the middle there. Now, you know, pray for me, because <laughs> this could end quite badly, but I've got some beautiful iridescent bronze fine. And see, I held my breath while I did that. <laughs> right, oh, here we go. Ta-da! Oh, yes. Looks fantastic. This is a really cute one. I like this one. I bought it a while ago. Tim Holtz collection. Um, yeah. So that's what you do. If you want to separate a section and only get one of the circles on there, 
um, it's great. Look at that. Perfect. Must have been your prayers because that is perfect. I'm so happy with that. That's perfect. Yay. I also noticed that there's no text on this page and come on, the theme is text. So I'm thinking maybe some of this one along here. That's what I'm thinking. That's the plan. Stan. Let's not smudge the beautiful stencil now that we've got it on there so perfect. I'm just thinking a couple of lines of this one would be really cool. I love the red. Of course I do. And I think being on the tissue. Do I want it right? Yeah, I'm thinking right across actually. Maybe I want it. Okay. I don't want to cut it straight. See? There you go. So I'm just going to take this one off first because I want the rough raw edge. I think that looks really good. I'm loving that one. Oh my gosh. Love that so much. So let's do that. It's rough and raw now. I'm thinking probably two lines of the text. This is the uh, Julie, it's Julie's one um, Believe script. I don't really know what it says, but it's clearly going to be positive if it's called Believe, right? I'm loving that. So, oh, you know, we could put it right down here was, was my initial thought. But putting it on there, I'm thinking maybe we put it up like, like there. What do you think? What do you think? Do we like that? If I put it there, I'm thinking that maybe we might not go right across. What about if we just put, oh, yes. What about if we just put a little bit on it, that side of the page like that? I'm liking that. Yes, I am very much liking that idea. So we'll tear that off. So we'll put it like as if it's kind of just hovering underneath it. And trim that off later, later, like that. Yes, and that finishes the composition nicely on this page as a separate alloc page. And then all together, it works really well. That's a really nice separate page. I think we're cooking with gas. I'm liking this. I'm going to do it. You know, try and stop me, but I'm going to do it. We'll put it right here. And then we'll let that bit dry. And oh my gosh, then we're going to be moving on to the last two pages of this week's text theme. So I need to pull out whatever it is I'm busting to use because I've only got two pages to use it on. So I'm going to have a hunt through and see what it is I desperately have to have. Oh, yes, I'm liking that. I like the way you can see that glorious circle under there. The gold's going to blend in nice. It's the same, of course, tone as what's in that one. So that's working for me. And I love the red. Always love red. Red's always good. <laughs> I know that not everyone likes red, but I love red. I love it. So that's beautiful. Very happy with that. I'm going to leave it alone now. I'm going to let that dry properly. And then I'll have to find what it is I desperately have to have in the last two pages. Because then next week we will be on to a different theme. What do I absolutely have to, cannot live without, must use? I'm thinking this. I also really like this text. I like the shiny. Um, it had a eye zinc spray on it again, but then I think I used the tea and probably the shimmering gold. Can't remember. I was in a bit of a frenzy. I love those two. I'm also loving this pattern. But I think I would like to use some of my fabulous writing off my craft paper. And then I was thinking of using um, some of this uh, paper as well. That could be cool. How I'm going to make all that work, I'm not sure. Maybe I'll put that down there. And then I might put some of that on there. 
And this come back again. It's like a boomerang. <laughs> it's come back again, but I want to use it. And I like these two colors. So many beautiful options. I really like this. And where to start? Where do I start? I think I'll just start. And I might just end up layering things on top of each other because I don't exactly know what I want to do. I have a lot of papers, beautiful colors, and I think I'll just stick some down and then see where we end up. All right, good plan, good plan. Okay, well, that is a fabulous start. I'm very excited about the start of this page. Where it's going, I'm not exactly sure. And I think I'll add the colors on this side before I decide um, what exactly is going to happen next with that. I picked up a piece of the Nat Geo and just had to have it because it was beautiful and the color worked really well with this one, so I put it on. I think I'll just stick this side down and then we'll see where we're at. Well, we're on a roll with this one, making very quick decisions. Look how fast that was. All right, so now the hard part is what are we going to put on next? I'm kind of liking this last surviving circle. It's the last one of that sheet that I used um, in the previous page. And, you know, it's a pretty nice color and I think it would go well. I might just tear it out and consider it. What other pieces are we going to be using? We'll have to just have a little look, see. Oh, I know, I wanted to use the rose. Yes, we're definitely using a rose. Are we gonna use the gold, the red, or the licorice, or the coffee? There's four colors. <laughs> we don't wanna make it easy. Oh, yeah, I like that. Look at that. That looks great. The color's beautiful. The circle's beautiful. I think I should definitely be putting that on there. I really like that. Righto. That was easy. <laughs> That's got to be the easiest page yet. <laughs> Maybe I'm getting better at this. <laughs> Righto. Get that down. Stick. So what other beautiful highlight pieces are we using? There are quite a few options. I don't mind the idea of pulling out some of this paper. That's rather dramatic. It's kind of cool. It's fun. It would probably dissolve rather well. What do you think? Should I try it? I think I should try it. It can only not work, right? If it doesn't work, I can always pull it back off again. Righto, I'm going to put it here, and then if I don't like it, I'll pull it off. Righto, I'm going to do it. Hopefully, it'll dissolve somewhat into the background. That's what I'm kind of hoping. Righto, let's put that on. If we don't like it, we can pull it off. That'll be okay. I'm liking the way it's got the underneath color coming through. That looks really cool. What I love about this kind of collage is you're really painting, oops, with paper. I love that. All the colors and the textures and the shapes. That's really what you do when you're painting. That's probably why I like using the brush and the matte medium, because it feels like I'm painting. So I might as well put it down because I like it and it's gonna stay there. Right there, I'm thinking. Right there. Have I mentioned how much I love using tissue? <laughs> no, not at all. That's the first time you've heard it. Oh my gosh, it's so easy. And I love the transparency. I love printing on it. I love using it in collage. Oh my gosh. I use 
um, recycled tissue that comes in all of the amazing, beautiful things I buy online. I also use from tissue from the dollar shop and I use the fancy pants tissue from the art shop as well. I use all of it. I haven't really noticed enough difference to say what is better than another. It all really works well. It works great for taking gel prints. It works magnificent in collage. So happy I got my little writing piece in it because, you know, it's all about the text. It's all about the writing. Okay, that's fabulous. I'm loving it. It is a little wet, but it's okay. We can cope. I like those these big letters here. They're really cool. I think it's French words. How can you not love that, right? Oops. Oh, man, stop poking at it. <laughs> <laughs> Oopsies, almost swore then. <laughs> Stop poking at it, it's creating holes. Right, what's next? What else are we gonna put on? We're putting a rose. Now, the color rose is the question. Do we want another beautiful, oh my gosh, it looked amazing, licorice rose, which could look cool, could, it could, but we have done that. Do we want a gorgeous coffee rose? That would blend in, but do we want to blend? I don't know that we want to blend. I don't know that we're blending in. I don't think we're feeling like a blending in mood. Oh, I think we want the beautiful oh, red rose. Yes, we do want that. So let's take the middle bit out. Do, should we take the middle bit out again or should we leave the middle bit? It needs a little bit of bling. But what? We need a bit of bling for the middle. Should we stick a bit of bling on or should we cut the middle bit out? That's not even close. <sighs> um, well, let's think about that. Ooh, <laughs> that's wet, by the way. Let's think about that while we set that there. I'm loving that shape. I'm loving the colour. I love it on top of that big text writing and that Script writing, fancy writing, and the book text. I'm loving all of it. It's going to happen. The question is, are we going to take the middle bit out and put something in it? Or are we going to put something on top of it? it needs to be tactile. It's got to be tactile. I need to find something that can go in it or on it for there. Okay, so first of all, I think I should take out the middle bit of that beautiful rose because we're going to do something with it. Not sure exactly what. And so I just tore the middle piece out because I just think it was, was too thick and heavy. And I'm liking it like that. So what are we going to do with the middle piece? Oh, man. Now, I do have a risky idea. So one of my beautiful secret circle shape templates, and you know what they are if you've watched that episode. I'm thinking of putting a stamp of it on there. Do I want it on it or under it? Mm. I might try under it because I'm not confident enough to put it on it. I'm going to paint the beautiful golden iridescent bronze fine. Onto my fabulous circle template. And then I'm going to, so it's got to go about there, put it down there and see if this idea works. Now it's just an idea. You've got to try these things. It may or may not work. Ta-da! You know, it's not bad. I'm not hating it, so we're already ahead. Now, if I glue this on top, then, yeah, that's, that's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. Shall I wait for it to dry? <laughs> Being the patient person that I am, I might wait for it to dry a little bit anyway while I deal with this side. What else is going on here? I think this needs a bit of bling. I don't know. I'm in a bling mood this afternoon, in a bling mood. And I'm feeling like we need to snazzy that up. What about if we just spray it with some 
shimmer. Ooh, that could work. So I've got the beautiful I think Sim Shimmer Spray. What about if we just give it a little... You can't even see anything. Well, you will when it dries, I think. It should be shimmery. <laughs> it's quite light, but, you know, it might, it might be enough to appease me. It might not. We're not too sure yet. But we need something there. And now everything's wet. Jeez wheeze. Hold the phone caller. I'm going to get my heat gun and I'm just going to blast the sucker because it's all flaming wet. And I want it to be dry. Okay, so that is a lot more manageable. It's not like perfect, but it's um, more manageable to be able to continue. Yay. See how that's got a little bit more of a shine to it? A little shimmery. What else are we going to do with it? What about some of this beautiful, amazing latest find from the art shop? Yeah, that's pretty cool because then it doesn't cover everything up. That's pretty cool. You got to admit it. It's pretty cool. It still needs something there. So I'm still thinking about that. Yeah, I think that's okay. Righto, let's stick that down. Make the decision. Jeez Louise. It's a nice shape. You know, you need to find some of those incredible secret circle making templates. Because <laughs> I use them all the time. Seriously. Right there. That's just beautiful. I love all the fibers of this paper when you stretch them out like that. That just looks glorious. That one is a Dilutions Red, that spray that I used. Look at the color of it. I mean, that's just magnificent. Right, out. that looks great. Very happy with that tiny bit of gold in the middle there. I'm glad that I'm... Um, Tore that bit out because I just I just like that shape better. It's not so thick and clunky. I think that works really well. I think I might now just let that dry properly. That's probably a really good idea. And then I'm going to stick that on because I like that. I think that's gorgeous. It looks beautiful, adds another layer of texture, and it doesn't cover my fabulous text. All right, happy with that. Gonna glue it on. Do I want something there? <laughs> I know. Ooh, maybe I could paint something there. Ooh, yes. Okay, we're going to do that. I want something there. I don't want to stick anything else on. So I'm going to do another risky move. I know, I know. I'm all about risky moves. <laughs> I'm going to put some shapes with my... Do a practice <laughs> with my fabulous other circle making shape, which is the lid of the spray inks. I know, I know. It's only technical stuff here. How many do I want on there? Where do I want to start? Where do I want to put them? You know, I'm not going to stress about it. Oh, that works. I'm not going to stress about it. I'm just going to put them on. Oh, that's okay. It's okay. We're doing okay. Because it just needed a little bit of bling ka -ching. Righto. That's okay. I don't mind it. It's not too much bling, but it's a little bit of shape and I'm happy. That's happy. That looks stunning. Love that on there. This is beautiful. I need to let all that dry. Okay, well, let it dry, and then I'll show you how magnificent these pages are. And that's week two. It's a wrap. Oh, <laughs> I'm loving it. There's so much to use with the text theme. Oh, my gosh, I've still got pages everywhere. That's fabulous. It looks beautiful. I'm very happy with it. Okay, I'm going to let it dry, and then we'll see um, how it looks once it's dried and yay 
That's week two already done. Oh my gosh. Okay, so my beautiful page has dried up and is looking gorgeous. I gave it a trim and I forgot that I was going to leave those bits on there and I was cutting on that side and ah, well, it's gone now. But it looks beautiful. Pretty happy for that. This color is amazing. It's this one here, the Dilusions Shimmer Spray in red shimmer spray. Uh, fabulous. Oh my gosh, look at that. That is like really candy apple red. That is just glorious. Uh, beautiful. It does activate when you're using it with the matte medium, just so you know. But that worked in my favor because I brushed it out and brushed the fibers on. And look how cool that looks. That looks so cool. Uh, you can see a little bit of gold from my beautiful circle print that I took underneath. It's not exactly centered, but it nearly is. So, you know, that's working for me. I love it. I absolutely love it. I don't know if you can actually see it, but it's got this beautiful iridescent bronze fine underneath there in a real textured pattern from my Secret Circle Maker. And it's then it's got the text as well. Loving that. That is just a craft paper text. It worked fabulous. That's my book text sprayed with the Isinks. And that's another craft paper on tissue. This side's looking great. Stencil with the alphabet book text with Isinks. Same with that one as well. A little bit of Nat Geo down the bottom. Loving that. And of course, my own writing some of the beautiful circle shapes and you saw me do mark making with the spray bottle lids i love that shape i love the size it works real well look how cool that looks that looks so cool um loving this pa paper here so fine and fabric like these colors are just working for me today i'm really loving these colors and the texture and the feel of the pages so we have finished week two. Let's go back to the beginning. Ta-da! Day one of week two using text. Day two, love them. Love them both. They're so working for me. Yay! Day three is absolutely beautiful. Day four, loving this. This is when I started to spray everything with the eye zincs. <laughs> What can I say? Right now, I'm loving it. This fed is glorious. Loving that too. And my beautiful handwritten note. Thank you, Gina. It's so special. Shimmering there in the gold. Lovely. Um, day five. The Nat Geo page. A little bit of Robin's printables there. Sprayed with the eye zincs. And some more beautiful textures. Loving it. That beautiful handmade rose in the licorice. And my sneaky little stencil bit. Bit of text there that's julie's one in the believe script fabulous all of these are working together so beautifully bit of mark making down the center oh my gosh and then day six and seven are we up oh, i've lost track <laughs> one two three four five six oh this is seven all of this is seven <laughs> all right day seven and day 7.5 or the b-side I like day seven, the B-side. Yeah, it's working for me. So I'm loving these pages. They're beautiful. Using the text was fantastic. I have so many papers that have text on them, in them, around them. So that worked really well. I hope you've enjoyed this as much as I have. See, I told you text wouldn't be boring. You just need to know how to find it and use it. Um, give me a shout out if you're stuck for papers because I could put some inspiration packs together with all of these leftovers because my whole table is like covered. No, seriously. Anyway, um, I really hope you've enjoyed it. I totally have. I'm loving this whole adventure. This is fabulous. I uh, hope you join me again next week. Next week, we'll do another seven pages. Actually, it's probably going to be eight, isn't it? Because I'm not going to be able to just leave one. Yeah, I know. Um, in a different theme and you're going to have to wait and see what we're doing next week. I hope you have fun this week doing these pages with your text. That'll be fabulous. And don't forget to post in the Facebook group um, your pages from 
this particular venture because that would be so cool. I would love to see what you're making. I'd love for you to be joining me on this fabulous um, project that we're doing and that's really fun. Righto, I'll let you get on with your day. I hope you have a fabulous week. I hope you create some beautiful things and join me again next week in the studio. Yay! Yeah.